pay's gone up and it's in some areas and some areas not. I mean, I, I got nothing but good stuff to say about Dana. Though our relationship wasn't always the, the best in the beginning, but I got nothing good stuff to say because he's allowed me to, to create so much money, so much publicity, marketing, all this stuff, and, and he's helped me out tremendously, you know? So me personally, I'm, I'm biased. I'm not, a, I'm not the right person to ask because I'm like a, a Dana candidate, but I'm also pay fighters more, you know? And I know Dana's running a business and he's a great businessman, so can he give out the checks that we want as fighters? I, th that's like a business decision, you know? I obviously will have always advocated throughout my career, and now that I'm retired even more, more money for the fighters because it's a fucking tough job. You shouldn't be in the top 10 having to fucking work at Walmart or something. You know, you should be, if you're in the top 15 already, you should be set that you're making enough money per fight, whether you have sponsors or not, that all your bills are covered. When we hear that guys have to have a part-time job or this and that while they're fighting, then, you know, there's, there's like, lopsidedness there, but there's also a lot of upside to it because a lot of people don't talk about this. In boxing, you don't get paid shit until your 30th professional fight. You know, his case is different, right? Because he came with this massive amount of followers. But every other boxer, the only way they get famous is by fighting, and they don't get paid shit in the beginning. The UFC pays guys in the beginning great, and at the mid-stage great. Where we need, like, help in is in that, that upper gap already that's been, you know, throwing down for a minute that those guys get a little bit overlooked with the pay.